What's up guys, this is Eddie, welcome to a new video. In last episode, we went through how to get gear, how to make your character stronger, and among other things, I told you guys to focus on skill points. Now, I have said it before, and I'm going to say it again, skill points are one of the most important thing to focus on in this universe online. Skill points will make your character stronger, no matter what role you are, DPS, tank, healer, troll, and with high amount of skill points, you can even go hybrid. So the question is, how to get more skill points? Let's go. So I'm gonna divide this video in categories so you guys can follow this time plan and get skill points the easy way. Since there are like 42 DLCs and the number is increasing every day, we have a lot of options to get feats on your own. So in order to get more skill points, we're gonna take a look at those feats. Let's open our feat menu. Now keep in mind this is a MMO and that means grind. You will get a lot of feats within minutes, but there are hundreds of feats where you will need to grind. Play missions again and again. All right, back to the topic. So feat menu, we're going to skip Legends PvE for now. So the first category under solo feats is basic. These are basically base decorations, items from different DLCs, events which you can farm for by doing the certain missions again and again and collecting base items. For event base items, for example, anti monitor event, you will have to wait till January. That's when this event is launched. But you know, then you have to farm the marks and buy these base items from the anti monitor event vendor. Same goes for all the other event feeds. Then we have a cult, shabby, mystical, dynasty, playhouse. These you can get randomly by playing omnibus content from your on duty tab or you can buy it from broker because other people sell these and they're not that expensive anymore. So if you don't want to farm for them, just buy them off broker. Now you're going to have some feeds which says collect base items for different DLCs as well. So you can go to the episodes, click on each DLC and find these base feeds. If you want complete list of base items for each DLC, there's always Google. Just search the DLC name, base items, and you will know the full list. Then farm and grind for those or just buy them off broker. Easy peasy. All right, so that was base item feeds. Let's talk about general feeds. So you should already have tons of these feeds while leveling up. For example, when you were in Brainiac ship, you could get barrel feeds, but because they keep on respawning there. But in case, if you still need this, just queue for area 51 alert and farm them there. Treasure chest feeds basically just break the treasure chest at the end of T1, T2 missions, mostly solos and duos. Heroic egg feed is also easy, just go to Metropolis, find people on top of the building who are about to jump off and save them. Basically save random NPCs all around Metropolis. You should be able to get it within 30 to 40 minutes. Next we have time capsule feeds. Open 10, open 15, open 25. Now this one is going to take a while because it requires stabilizers which is basically a key to open time capsules. So you need to log in every day, collect your stabilizers from daily reward menu and then open these time capsules in order to get this feed. But you can always spend real money and buy the stabilizer from marketplace if you are in hurry and have a massive bank account but honestly I wouldn't rush for it. Alright moving on we have artifacts. Focus on these because you're definitely going to need artifacts. So once you have decided your role and know for certain which artifacts you're going to use, level them up with ant metal and feats are going to pop. You will definitely need some other artifacts as well, which you don't need to, you know, uh, use, but you will still need to get them for certain feats. So buy them, level them up for, you know, up to rank 20 only, get the feats and then consume those artifacts in the artifacts you're actually going to level up. Easy feats, lots of grinding, but again, if you're in rush, you can spend around $200 for each artifact and rank them up to 200, which is maximum level in under 10 minutes, but that's up to you. Next, we have collectibles. As you can see, even though I have like 622 skill points right now, I'm still missing this. This is because I've been lazy, but you can do it. And so these feats are for those, you know, green, blue, and gold nodes around, all around the world and in solos, duos, alerts, raids, and open world. So collect everything you see and you will get the feed. In case you're looking for certain investigation or briefing and you don't know the location, just search the name on Google and someone probably have posted the location for them. The feed is doable in like two to three days if you're lucky. Next, we have token of merits. So these are just token which you collect. They randomly draw from completing missions, but you can go to Watchtower, go to War Room, and find this vendor and buy victory tokens. Once bought, collect them and your feeds will pop. But as you can see, it goes up to 10,000. So you're going to need 10,000 source marks to buy them all. So 
get to farming. Next, we have races. So depending on your movement mode, you're going to have different locations for races all around Gotham and Metropolis. That's like one of the first thing you should focus on in order to get feeds. Let's say your super speed, just Google DCO super speed races location and you will get a map. Then go to those locations, finish your feeds and finish your races, I mean, and get all the feeds. This will take around one to two hours for you to get all the feeds in Gotham and Metropolis. Now, best part is once you have gotten all super speed feet, you can change your movement mode by getting movement token from marketplace for like 10 bucks, switch to let's say flight, and now you have new races, you know, flight races. Finish those races and get extra feet, then you can switch to acrobat, finish acro races, and again extra feet. So you can do that, but for now, just focus and complete all the races for your current movement mode. That should be enough, you know, without spending any money. Renown. You can get this by completing solos for each mentor. For example, Wayne Tag, just do missions from on duty tab from Batman storyline, and it will give you renown at the end. Around 50 each time, so farming that is no problem, but it will take some time and you might get bored. So just do all the solo missions from all three mentors every day and just one speed basically, and you will get source marks, styles, renown, and base items. So totally worth it. Last in the list is survival mode, but that's another story. Now, one of the most easiest feats you can get is under exploration. For these, all you need to do is to visit locations mentioned under each open world and instances and boom, you got the feat. Easy skill points. Next is the important list, some very easy feats, some very grindy feats, but all of them are soloable. For example, complete 10 challenges or complete 500 challenges, that's when you queue for solo missions from on duty tab. So completing one solo, that's gonna count for one challenge. Do it 500 times and feet's gonna pop. Now that 500 number might seem very, very big and you will be like, holy shit, I have to do it like 500 times. Well, you won't even notice it to be honest because when you're leveling up, you'll be running solo missions anyways to get gear, to get styles, to get source marks. So you won't even know and this feed is going to pop. But yeah, it is important and you should definitely get it as soon as possible. Then we have hideouts, survival, iconic battles, contacts. Each of these feats are under solo missions and they can be in, you know, on duty tab and some of these are in different hideouts which you can just walk in from open world. So read the feats, do them one by one. Again, use Google to know the location of the hideout. Just search the feat name and you're good to go. You should have many of these feats while leveling up, but in case you miss them, you can always go back and get those. Another soloable feats are under R&D. Now you're going to get different plans which you, when you complete missions. Keep collecting them. If you already have a certain plan, sell that one on broker, get all the plans in the list and get your feet. Then you have create feet, gather feet, salvage feet. So create and salvage feet, you can just go to R&D station. Once you have collected plans, you know, you can create those items to get create feet. For salvage feet, you just need to salvage gear to get that feet. So more you run, more gear drops you will get and you know, you can just salvage the gear you don't need and you can get salvage feet. Gather feet, you can get that one by collecting investigations, briefings, collections and these rainbow nodes all around the open world. Each time you collect, it's gonna count as one. So very grindy feet, as you can see, I'm still missing that one too, but yeah, you can do it every day while waiting for your cues to pop. Next, we have styles. Now this can get tedious, but don't worry, I got you. So we have different kind of style feeds here. Few style drops from running certain content. Few you can only buy from vendor and some of them you can only get from time capsules. So first of all, run all the solos, duos, alerts, raids as much as you can every day. More you run, more styles will drop. That means you might get a lot of styles under team styles very fast. And obviously since you're farming for those styles, you're running content, that means you're getting a lot of source marks. That means you can go to these certain DLC vendors and buy the styles from them. Finish the set to get the feet. Let's say you're 370 CR, but you're missing style from Age of Justice DLC vendor, right? So get the style, collect it, and then salvage it because it's weaker than the gear you're currently wearing, obviously. But that way, you're also working on your salvage feet at the same time, and you're gonna get Ent Metal to level up your artifacts. So that's a win. So, anyways, that's how you collect these themes and iconic styles. Then you have to style from time capsules. Well, if you are going to open time capsules one by one, it will take years to complete those styles. So, what you're gonna do is to run content, get rare collections or style items, collect if you need them, but if you already have them, sell them on broker. Some of them sell for around 10 million to 200 million each. Then utilize that money to buy time capsule styles from broker as they can be expensive too since they are rare drops. So now you have the plan, you know how to get styles, but there's more. If you have enough source marks, 
go to House of Legends and go here and you can see around like 8 to 10 vendors. These are all style vendors. These styles are same which drops from instances or some DLC vendors sell it but these are only styles not the gear. But to get the feed you can buy these easy feeds right there. Moving on, next we have PvP, well skip that for now, it's broken anyways and also you need at least one person for basic PvP feeds too but since we don't need a friend we're gonna skip this one. So duos, alerts, raids, we're gonna skip for now. Under seasonal, these are events. We have Christmas event, Halloween event and others. So you will have to wait for this event to launch and then get the solo feats in there. Most of them require event marks specific to certain events. So you will have to grind. Now let's go through episodes quickly and focus on the feats which you can solo. All right, so under episodes, we have around 42 DLCs, right? So if we go through them one by one, we can see if we have any solo feats in there. Like for example, Fight for the Light, we don't have any solo feats in there, it's duos or alerts. Lightning Strike, you can go to Central City, get these Paradox Reapers on your own, but it's gonna take forever as you can see, and it gets really boring, like I have like 2280 out of 5000. So it's better to get a group, so you can skip that as one as well, but there are a few feats in here which you can do, you know, as solo. Battle for Earth, you can also go to Gotham and uh, go to Old Gotham and you can see Teleporter for them, right? Right. So you can go inside the Teleporter and get these feats on your own as well. This will get very boring very fast. I know it says duos but you can walk in so why not do it. And then there are some feats you can do solo if you are, you know, uh, high level. Last Laugh is basically PvP, skip that. Hand of Fate, there's no solo. Home Turf. Mm, this one is solo obviously this one is uh, this one is solo it's basically for your base and uh, these are solo missions as well you can do these so basically just go through each dlc one by one and see which feat is soloable and there are tons of them so because one of most of the them most of them are in open world you have to do certain solo missions to get those feats and then there are styles obviously over here too you can just go to this dlc vendor and get them from source marks as i said before and so that's about it for episodes just go through each one of them and do it solo i can like go on one by one but it's gonna take a long time to talk about each feat one by one and how to do it so what we have so far is when you are soloing how you're gonna focus is I'm just going to put it on screen. So this should be your time plan. And this is how you should be able to get very good amount of skill points in short period of time. And that's about it. So next up we have duos. So one thing we can do is obviously go for, you know, these duos. So duos feeds, you have to complete certain amount of duos. Then you have speed force, like basically uh, you have to complete duos in certain amount of time under you know 11 minutes or less eight minutes or less so for this you are gonna need a friend and if you don't have a friend you can just you know go to lfg and look for someone who is interested in doing these feats with you so very easy peasy and obviously after this you can you have to go to each dlc again to look for duo feats so for example obviously battle of earth is also a duo feat you can queue for it but it's best to you know just walk in and then we have let's say for example this one nice dome arena duo so you have to do you have to get a player with you and go to this and you know queue up for night storm arena and there are other feats like that as well and obviously same goes for alerts same goes for raids you all you need to do is basically get a group from LFG or your league if you have a good league they're gonna help you anyways but if you have uh, if you don't have a good league if you don't have any friends online you can go to LFG and search for uh, group mates who can help you with that all right so let's find a feed let's say I want to do um, these are duos as well we have alert we have raids obviously then we have obviously this this is alert so damage control alert damage control right so we need to do this so let's say i want to do mirror mirror feed in damage control alert normal in a single run so i'm just gonna go for lfg and i'm gonna try looking for people for uh damage control and r stands for regular dcr feed run psd so 
anybody who's interested they're gonna obviously come up with their own feats if they need anything but also you can you know just mention the feat name if you know the feat name so you can just uh, demo looking for people for dcr feed and mention the feed name and psd if anybody needs it they're gonna message you and then you can run together so this is it for alerts and raids then obviously we have some legends pve feeds you can do these feeds uh all you need to do is go to custom play and you can see there are these legends going on every day so you, let's say we have we want to queue for legends paradox so we can go for that and you can pick a character and complete these feats but for legends pve feats you need to have certain characters so basically you will need to farm them then get the legends uh pve what's it called i forgot the name of it um marks of legends so mark of legends you just need mark of legends for that so once you have marks of legends you can buy one character it's like 85 to 150 marks per character so you can go for that and then you need to do certain feats in legends pve but uh i would suggest wait for the event they do it like once a year it's like 10x counter basically bonus so like you, it says 250 legends pvp event as wonder woman right so if i play as wonder woman I complete one uh, map and one event, uh, it's gonna count as one. But if there's a bonus going on, it's gonna count as 10, so wait for that. And also during that event, uh, developers unlock all the characters from the you know legends pve roster so you can just run as run as whatever you want complete the checklist and get some easy feats done and also they have all the maps open so right now we have only uh paradox and owen science cells so during that event we have all the map opens so don't focus on that for now so what you're going to focus on is obviously solos do all the missions you can do you know uh, as a solo player and then focus on duos then you're going to move on to alerts and then finally you're going to move on to raids meanwhile whenever whatever you're doing because it's going to take some time it's a very grindy process so meanwhile you're doing when you're doing that you focus on r d feeds you focus on style feeds and maybe pvp but it's not that important and during that time if any seasonal uh you know launches focus on that first focus on getting the seasonal feed first so springtime is i think springtime just launched so ties of war is gonna launch very soon summer event and so get these feeds i still need to complete these feeds as well as you can see so yeah this is basically it and once you have obviously enough amount of skill points you can become hybrid you don't even have to you know respec every time uh, so that's the beauty of, beauty of it and you can you know maximize your output for whatever role you are so if you're a healer you can go for you know full healing spec and dominance and power if you have extra skill points so make sure you have extra skill points they are very very important don't let anybody fool you if and who says that they're it's not so get those skill points done so this is it i hope this video helps you in you know getting more skill points and if i missed anything please let me know in the comment section below I'll be happy to, and if there are any questions, I'll be happy to, you know, get back to you as soon as I can. And that's about it. I'll see you guys next time.